The ARCHICAD MEP modeler enables architects to use familiar tools to incorporate 3D mechanical, electrical, and plumbing model information to their building designs. The MEP modeler adds three new groups to the existing ARCHICAD toolbox. The ductwork group in the toolbox provides a set of tools to model mechanical elements. Tools in the pipework group create plumbing elements. Finally, the tools in the cabling group have been developed to model electrical elements. All three MEP toolbox groups are similar. There are dedicated tools to model straights or bends, and designers can also insert transitions, junctions, or terminals to the MEP network. In addition, they can even place inline elements or equipment. MEP network segments can be connected with each other using bends if required. Transitions are used to connect two MEP elements of different end geometry, such as a different width, height, or shape. Junctions can be T-junctions, Y-junctions, or a takeoff. Please browse the More Fittings directory for a comprehensive set of junctions to be used with pipeworks. A terminal can be, for example, a ceiling diffuser or grill or a sprinkler head placed at the end of a pipe or duct. Terminals always have only one connection port. An inline element can be a valve or filter placed inside the MEP route. Inline elements are open at both ends. Equipment can be a furnace with one or more connection ports. A single equipment element can be assigned to multiple MEP systems, for instance heating and exhaust air. These are also connected to multiple MEP element types such as pipework or ductwork. Cabling systems can be created with the help of the cable carrier, bend, T, and more fitting tools. All MEP elements have connection ports. These are represented by smart hotspots to which you can connect another MEP element. Unconnected MEP connection hotspots are displayed as diamond-shaped editable hotspots. The hotspots of correctly connected MEP elements are black in all views. These connection ports greatly help your modeling work because when you connect a new MEP element to an existing network, the new element will automatically take the appropriate connection parameters shape, diameter, width, or height. Another great advantage of connected MEP elements is that they can be moved and edited together with one step.